Hello! It's the desert siren. How is everybody? Oh my god, I'm doing a video! Sorry on how rough I look, but I just got off work. Tired. Face is all oily. Makeup's almost gone. Anyway, that's not what this is about. I said quite a long time ago that I wanted to introduce you all to um, a new goddess that was introduced to me by one of my co-workers. <laughs> That's not the co-worker. Um, but anyway, it's a Hindu goddess. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to try to say her name. Akilanda Swari. <laughs> she is um one of her main forms is uh Paravati. And she is the goddess of Never not broken. Now, got my little notes here and stuff. She, um, like I said, she was introduced to me by my co worker because uh, my co worker had gone through lots and lots of stuff you know, losing a fiance, a home, a job, almost losing her mother, you know, well, you know, her, her mom's fighting a form of cancer that's hereditary. So, you know, just a lot of stuff. And at the time that my, and you know, this was like a year ago. So my coworker was telling me about her, you know, that's when I was going through all my stuff, through the separation, leaving my job, finances, all that kind of stuff. And the meaning of goddess of never not broken is she embraces all the turmoil. I guess you could say that she has gone through and yeah <laughs> so normally when you see pictures of her she's broken like um, yeah. this is a candle I made because she is kind of an unknown goddess so it's really hard to find thing um, like here I'm trying to really find information on her for you guys and not so much you know she she is normally depicted riding a crocodile and the crocodile kind of represents you know the bad things, the scary things in life, the stuff you've been through, and she's just writing it like, you know, I'm not afraid, I'm still going to be a goddess, and I'm still going to be here, and mm. so anyway, so here, I made this candle, seven day candle, you know, and I just printed off, this is one of my favorite depictions of her. So if you go in on Google and type in goddess of never not broken, you'll see all kinds of pictures. So this is my favorite though, because you can see how from everything she's been through, she's in pieces. So there's a crocodile down there. But 
regardless of all of that that she's been through, she's still radiating this beautiful, bright light from within. So, you know, it kind of resonated with me. Um, here's an article by someone that I don't have her name. Uh, it was from www.elephantjournal.com and it's called Why Lying Broken in a Pile on Your Bedroom Floor is not is a Good Idea. So it's by Julie Peters and she wrote a piece on Akhilanda Shavari. Let me spell it for you, okay? And there's different... I have found so many different spellings, but the way this lady spells it is A-K-H-I-L-A-N-D-E-S-H-V-A-R-I. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, let's see. trying to find where she's because she's talking about something she went through I think through a breakup or something um, let's see she gives you strength possibility during a time of change and uncertainty in life um, in pieces warrior style on the back of a crocodile Lakshan Navari Ishvari in Sanskrit, which is a Hindu language, means goddess or female power. And the uh, Alakhilada means essentially never not broken. In other words, the always broken goddess. Sanskrit is tricky and amazing language. Um, here it means that she is broken right down to her name. This isn't the kind of broken that indicates weakness or terror. It's the kind of broken that tears apart all the stuff that gets us stuck in toxic routines, repeating the same relationships and habits over and over rather than diving into the scary process of trying something new and unfathomable. Alaksha Danvari derives her from her power of being broken influx, pulling herself apart, living in different constant selves at the same time from never becoming whole that has limitations. Um, the thing you're going through, sudden or scary or sad transitions, like a breakup or losing someone, losing a job, whatever. Is one of the things you lose is also your future, your expectations of what the story of your life was going to become. Da 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 da. Of course, that was terrifying. But the goddess, um, she makes you make a choice in pieces, pile on the floor with no idea how to go forward. Your expectations of the future are meaningless. Da -da -da. It's kind of like you know when your life just changes. Um, ba, ba, ba. How do you put yourself back together again? Confusion can be an incredible teacher. Da, 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 da. This goddess has another interesting attribute, which is, of course, her ride, the crocodile. Crocodiles are interesting in two ways. Firstly, Stoneberg explains that crocodile represents our reptilian brain, which is where we feel fear. Secondly, the predatory predat predator power of a crocodile is not located in their huge jaws, but rather that they pluck their prey from the banks of the river and take it into the water and spin it until it's disoriented. They whirl that prey like um, to diverse seeking God. They use the power of spin rather than brute force to feed themselves. 
Writing on the spinning predator, fearsome creature of Lakshanavari refuses to reject her fear, nor does she let it control her. She rides it. She gets on this animal that lives inside the river, inside the flow. She takes her fear down to the river and uses its power to navigate the waves and spins in the never not broken water. She shows us that this can be beautiful. So, you know, and it goes on and on and on. I'm already at 10 minutes. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, look her up, do some research. I think, you know, she's very powerful. Um, you know, just em embrace what you have gone through. Embrace what you're going through. You know, change is scary. But like the article said, you know... Just embrace it. Ride it like a crocodile. Um, I also have... I'm going to make more candles. <laughs> I have another picture here of her that... Uh, where she's not broken. But... Here it is. She's very beautiful. You can see the crocodile. So, you know, with so many of us here on YouTube and in life, um, so many of my sisters where we've all gone through crap, still going through whatever, you know, maybe this is a, a good goddess for you. Um, something different, something, you know, to see, to see things differently, you know, it, kind of sparked uh, a thing in me where I was just like, oh, hell, you know, yeah, it is a, a good way to look at it. So, just wanted to introduce you to her. Um, I'm on Google. There's a couple of pictures. Let me turn the light off. Can that help? Uh, let's see. That one's a nice one. That's cute. There's another one. So, yeah, there's quite a few. It's the one I like. A cute one. But yeah, I mean, do some investigating, look her up, you know, tell me your thoughts. I mean, I think, I just, you know, I thought it was, she was just amazing. That's actually really pretty. Um, and she just resonated so much with me. I just, you know. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Sorry, this was like really unprepared and I just kind of jumped on in there but uh <laughs> I really wanted to talk to you guys about her that's a nice little saying right there so there you go look her up see what you think I'm just trying to get in the swing of things of Doing more videos for you guys. Trying to not be a slacker. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Love you. I don't, even, see, I don't even know how to push stop anymore. It's been that long.